it's not like someone's stealing to eat yes. or stealing because they, they need to live or whatever. This is just a kick he gets. Uh, well, congratulations. I thought you did such a great job and I love this film. And it was just, it's so different. You yeah. know, it's not your typical stalker movie. And it, was that something that you kind of, you know, drew, drew into when you read the script at the beginning? Yeah, I liked the, the, the fact that you, you were rooting for each of the guys at different times and it, it depended on who was on top and who was on bottom. And, uh, whoa, that sounded bad. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different kind of movie. That's a way different kind of movie, yeah. but that's okay. Yes. I, uh, You've yeah. been watching too much Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I think what I was fascinated about was you, who you root for. Mm. Oh, everything I say now is going to be double entendre. <laughs> it's okay. It, the script was so good, and uh, you didn't know whose side to be on. And, yeah. and that changes through the film. And, but also the Sandy's character, there's always something, I think the audience are aware that there's something more to his behavior. Why does he shoplift? Why does he, right. yeah, I think he's equally as lonely. Oh, absolutely. As Robert's character, but uh, he's just got better trappings and, and nicer surroundings to deal with it all. Exactly. So have you, did you even go into the psyche of, or did you even have enough time to go like, why people shoplift? No, but I think it's explained quite well in the, you know, he's, he, he gives an explanation of why he does it and it's all about the thrill and the, and the, the relief of not being caught and uh, that makes sense. But I had so little time, it was about a week before, uh, between getting it and starting principal photography, so... Yeah. But the script was so good that, uh, you know, it's all there. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to do that much yeah. work besides um, learn it. Exactly, and then, um, did you, you know, the Sandy, like I say, he's a, he's a different character, you know, that I've seen in a long time on screen, because there's, you know, the two sides of him, and um, he must have been a real fun guy to play, I would think. Yeah, he was, I kind of liked it, because in Game of Thrones, I don't do any fighting, any horse riding, anything apart from sit and bitch with Dinklage. <laughs> but this was, you know, breaking into houses and, and swimming pool scenes, you know, where you're drowning and uh, just, it was great. So closest I'll probably ever get to an action movie. <laughs> well, you know, they, you and Dinklage, you know, you, you guys might get to have some fighting stuff. You know, I I hope the show's not. still going on. I you hope know. not. That will require more physical work and I haven't run since the 80s. <laughs> Okay, so just sitting in, yeah, sitting in and bitching is, is great. That's fine by yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, tell me a little bit about working with Stephen because and I, I was saying to Michael just before, when I watched him for the first time, I'd seen him on Boardwalk Empire. Yeah, yeah. I did not know that he was not American. Like playing yeah. Al Capone, yeah. oh my goodness. No, he's, he's brilliant and he was brilliant to work with and he brought so much to it. and. You know, as I said, it was an excellent script, but then Stephen brought so much more to it, like his his unaware, his, the, the character's choice to be unaware of personal space. And so that wasn't in the script. So in the middle of a take, he'd suddenly move in and then I'm adapting, you know, accordingly. And so all that was great. And he's, he's just a fantastic talent. Yeah, yeah, really. And t tell me a little bit about the chemistry because you're not friends, but you're, you know, it's, it must, to me, it just seemed like a different type of chemistry that yeah. you guys had to acquire. Yeah, well, I, I, like I say, I think he, I think they're more similar than, than, than would first be evident. And I think that he sees the loneliness of, you know, Sandy sees the loneliness of Robert and yeah, as something that he identifies with himself. Yeah, and Michael, of course, the first time director, feature film, anyway. Yeah. I mean, you know, Mr. Yeah, Oscar that. nominee for uh, short film, yeah, very yeah, nice. Yeah. But tell me about a little bit about working with him. Oh, he's great. He's just so enthusiastic and so, uh, you know, we shot so much in such a little time. So it was hard work, but he, he just cares implicitly about the material and about the people he's working with. So. Yeah. And in terms of the uh, amount of time you had to shoot too, like it was what, about a month you guys Four had? weeks, yeah. Yeah, so is that like for you as an actor, like to, you know, sometimes when you're working on other things you've got a little bit more time, but then oh, again yeah. you do TV and you have... Yeah, but know. Game of Thrones is again is such a huge cast that you're never in every day. You know, it's just not going to happen. Whereas this, I was, I think I had one day where I had a morning off, but otherwise I was... 
24-7. So um, did you have to go um, and shoplift and be method for this? No, uh, film? no, I couldn't, I couldn't. <laughs> uh, I just, no. I mean, but again, that was a, kind of like an action movie for me. That's the closest I got to <laughs> a heist movie. Yeah. Stealing uh, tr uh, trivial things from shops. Yeah, it's interesting to watch because the stuff that he took was just so exactly yeah. so trivial. So yeah, but like I he, think that's the point. It, it, right. it isn't like a. It's not like someone stealing to eat. Yes. Or stealing because they they need to live or whatever. This is just a kick he gets. Yeah. Um, but I I think as the movie goes on, it, it it's kind of revealed why he would do that. Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. I, yeah. Of course, I don't want to unfold anything that no, goes you on can't. because it's you can't. yeah, you can't. It's it's a good little thriller. But I think once that particular aspect is revealed it makes a lot more sense of the character yeah absolutely absolutely it was really I really really did enjoy it what do you look for now when you get scripts is there something that pops out at you that you're looking for uh, well if you if you usually if I if I stick with it until the end you know what I mean yeah. like oh I'm it holds me until the last page yeah. and I don't mean just my bits I mean the whole story that would be a factor and, and most things that I would choose to do would be script based unless it's Woody Allen or uh, someone who you would trust implicitly to know what they're doing yeah, yeah. Um, but you know it's that when you do theater you're self-editing but when you do TVs and movies you're putting your trust in other people yeah and of course I mean obviously great theater actor and 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 just you know I always wonder when I love theater so much I love sitting there and yeah, I love too, the thrill of it. what is it for you to be up in that stage and have that live interaction um, well, I just I just did. A, I haven't done so much theatre recently, but I've been directing theatre, and I, I did a, a stage reading of a Brian. There was a Brian Friel festival in Donegal, and we did the Faith Healer, and uh, it's, they're just completely different experiences. You know, they're equally rewarding, but yeah, there's just something about theatre where you're in charge of everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, that's great. Um, we, Game of Thrones, did you ever think when you started to work on that show that it was going to be what it's no. become? No, and I resisted it for so long. My, my agent at the time kept trying to get me to go meet them. And I kept saying, that's not my kind of thing. And how wrong was I? <laughs> and thankfully, they persevered and made me go meet them. Yeah. Well, but no, no idea at all. No, I don't think any of us did. And I think Sean Bean's death was the catalyst that just went, this is different, this is not like other TV shows. Well, that's for sure. I mean, look at all the stuff about Jon Snow. Holy mm -hmm. mackerel. Like, mm -hmm. people are still like, he's coming back from the dead. Like, they're it's just... It's possible. All, yeah, it's possible, sure. And, and, yeah. But it's just, they won't let up. Like, they're... No, but I think they're all asking the wrong question. <laughs> you know, they're all saying, is he dead? And you're going, well, you saw him die. The question you should be asking is, will he come back? Will he rise again? I won't answer it, no. but that's a better question than, is he dead? Because you know he's dead. Yeah, exactly. You saw him die. And working with Dinklage. I mean, seriously, how much fun do you guys have? Because I've interviewed him many times, and he's a really, he's a riot. He's brilliant. But he's wor we work hard. I mean, yeah. sometimes I worry because the, what comes across is that we just go and goof about, but <laughs> we don't. And we work hard, but we also have a great time. He's just a fantastic actor. But everyone on it is so good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's top notch, there's no question. Yeah. Well, this movie also, top notch. I, oh, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was such a great little cat and mouse. And yeah, really good it's thriller. a kind of standalone sort of yeah. speaks for itself. Absolutely. Film. Yes, it does. You know, it's really good. Good non stuff. Formulaic. Good choice, good performance, oh, and uh, a pleasure, really a pleasure to meet you and talk to you about it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Really